What's going on guys? I'm sorry for the uh, low lighting in here. It's really cloudy out today. Um, probably not the best day to be filming, but uh, I've got the light, so that should help some. Uh, what we're doing today is uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, fill in the shower pan. Um, and uh, you know, fill each cell from the uh, stick thing that I've got going on here uh, with mortar. And I've actually already gotten the wheelbarrow in here and poured some mix in there and started mixing it up. So uh, I gotta mix this up to the consistency that I could ball it up and it'll stick together. Um, I'm gonna try a dry pack technique for it and we'll see how that goes but everything is level um every every stick is level with each other i've got my line going around the perimeter uh to show me where to uh stop filling the mortar in and uh, i'm just gonna start in this back left corner um and just work my way over uh until i'm out so let's get started so I'm going to mix some more water in here with my mixture of Portland cement and sand. Um, and I'm just going to work it in until I can get that consistency. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, just to put you down. Probably about good. I'm just guessing here, but this is basically what it looks like on other videos. And I mean, honestly, I think anything past the powder, like this white stuff, as long as it's saturated with water enough. do now is I'm going to take some of this and go ahead and put it in the pan. I've got my mix and I'm gonna just go ahead and just start shoveling this stuff in. I'm gonna start at my edge, my edges first. I've seen a lot of people do that. Start at the edge first get your level base all the way up to the height that you need and that's where you can do it from to slip it up the rest of the way down so that's exactly what I'm doing I'm just literally imitating all these other professionals that I've watched 
indie outliers, but mostly professionals because you can't always trust the DIY for sure. Take a moment and break this stuff up a little bit. Making sure that I don't hit the liner with anything sharp, that's for sure. People say not to use the metal blades with this stuff because you might puncture. So, I also got this to tamp it with and everything so I don't have a sharp blade. But this one is useful. Try to smooth in everything. I'm already needing another uh, bag of mortar here. I'm gonna go get that and also mix up some more real quick. So I'll be right back. As you can see, I'm just uh, basically Coloring in the lines, as you will, uh, I'm just filling everything up to these reference points, the sticks. That's what they're designed for. They're supposed to be used as a reference to keep your slope. And uh, it looks like it's going pretty well so far. I'm going to have to add some more over to the back side, it looks like, uh, to meet my line. But otherwise, it looks pretty good. And I'm just going to trowel right over these uh, sticks in the end um, to give myself, you know, the solid, smooth surface that you need to tile on. So, looks pretty cool. I'm just going to do my thing and uh, I'll update you with the time lapse. I think I'm going to put a time lapse on here. So, I will catch you guys in a few minutes. So it's going pretty well so far, uh, I would say. A um, little tricky starting to get the feel for sloping and everything. Uh, obviously I'm using these sticks which helps a lot though. Um, and just being able to visualize kind of what I'm doing and uh, where I need some more attention and mud and everything. But, uh, the dry pack was going pretty well. I noticed that I needed to kind of uh, get a little bit more liquidy substance to get something to stick over the sticks. Um, I don't really think it's like hugely important that you fully cover the sticks all the way 
I'm thinking about 90% coverage, 95% coverage at least, but you don't have to have a full 100% in my opinion. You've got a uh, mud for your tile that's going to go on top of this anyways. So um, I'm just trying to not make it so thick that I can't produce a nice line on my tile near the drain. And so that's really what I'm paying attention to as well uh, while I'm doing this. So anyways, I just want to stop and uh, kind of give you an explanation and uh, just some uh, verbal confirmation about what I'm doing. So here we go for the time lapse again. <laughs> It just kind of scoured it a little bit to make it a little bit smoother than it was. So, I'd say all in all, it was a pretty good job. Um, this uh, line right here, that was just a stick that I couldn't quite get covered. But uh, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to come back and, uh, with my thin set to do tile on the floor over this, so I don't know what you see here is going to show, but it was very important because this is the final step before you get your tile, and this is the crucial step that makes everything look even and level, and you know, so hopefully the tile looks good. I think this looks good. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, you know, I'll just get better, so. Uh, that is that, and uh, I'm gonna give this like maybe a couple of days, three days probably to cure, to set up fully before I even walk on it or attempt to uh, tile on it, just to make sure that it's got enough time to do its thing before I seal it up with tile even more because it's gonna be years and years, you know, uh, if it's not dry, it's it's not gonna dry for a while if you seal it up. Uh, quite a while. So I'm gonna give it its time to do its thing, 
to make sure that it sets properly so I can walk on it without cracking and all that kind of stuff. I probably could right now, honestly, if I really wanted to. Um, but just to be on the safe side, you know, I'm gonna give it three days. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Uh, if you just like this video in general, please like and subscribe. Or, uh, please like if you're a subscriber. Um, I am definitely excited about getting Kyle down, and I'll be doing cross my fingers that. Uh, my GoPro doesn't act up and uh, screw over my time lapse again. That was pretty frustrating. I might have to get me another GoPro here soon, but um, I don't know what's going on with it. It's just being weird. Anyways, hope you all are having a beautiful Sunday. It is sunny outside. My camera can't even adjust right now to see it, but it's really bright uh, for once. <laughs> Dude, it's been like, it's been raining for what seems like forever now. It just won't stop. Uh, rain is coming tomorrow, and it looks like it's going to be raining every day this week. I don't know what NASA is doing to us, but I don't like it. Make them stop. So, hopefully uh, I can get on with this, though, in uh, a few days, and I'm going to tile the floor and then put up the concrete board in that order so hopefully that goes well um, I'm gonna be making a video uh, soon about uh, my sleeping bag that I just got like I said again so I'm, I'm excited about that and um, I'm going to enjoy just comparing the two sleeping bags that I have now um, also I'll just bring out my wife too just to compare all three so looking forward to that i hope y'all are having a good sunday again and uh take care